in my humble opinion, mm -hmm. I see the Bucks as the clear favorite in the NFC South. Yeah. Rondé, agree or disagree? That's 100% agree. <laughs> Odds makers agree. I mean, everybody agrees. Carolina's, you know, starting a new quarterback, uh, uh, second year head coach. Atlanta's first year head coach and Arthur Smith. Yes, they have uh, Matt Ryan, um, but they're not who they who they once were. And New Orleans, without the, one of the greatest quarterbacks ever, uh, who knows what they're going to be? So, Super Bowl champion, <laughs> Super Bowl champion versus three uncertain teams. Yes, they are the favorite in the South. And I don't know that we'll ever see in today, and remember we have that extra regular season yeah, game right yep. this year, so it's going to be a little bit tougher in terms of wear and tear mm -hmm. on, uh, on teams physically. I don't know if we'll ever see that perfect season like, like the Dolphins. Chris, you mentioned a perfect season. That would be a bold prediction. So that's what I'm coming to you guys with now. I want each of your bold predictions for the Bucks this season. Chris, we'll start with you. Yeah, and I'll, and I'll go 13 and three, have, having 14. looked at the schedule. Thir no, yeah, that's right, because it had, you have 17 regular season yeah. games. So now I'm gonna say 14 and three, you're right, because yeah. I, I see some teams, like you mentioned, LA, maybe Buffalo, yeah. maybe a division team catches them on an off week. Yeah. Uh, Washington, good defense, sure. and, and they gave them a little bit of a test in the playoffs. But I I'll be surprised if in the regular season they lose more than, than three games. I would. I would say that's about right. So there's a, there's a, just a, a handful. The mo most of these games, I mean, Dallas, we just don't know, right? Did Dallas turn the corner? We'll, we'll find out. But I, I see this team winning at least 14 games this year.